Well, the countdown to state baseball continues now just two days away from the first pitch. In Class A, Fawson finds themselves back in the field for the first time since the 2010 season. The tw this 22-2 ball club has won 12 straight, including a perfect 5-0 on this postseason. They haven't had to rely heavily on their offense, using a small ball approach at the plate, putting the ball in play. Their strength, though, good pitching and solid defense, only allowing 48 runs total this year. That's two a game that leads the entire state. We know that when you only allow two runs a game, you're always going to be in the game. And so we talk a lot about don't don't worry about if you're getting out, just stay in the game. And, and when your number's called, you got to come up and try and come through with a key hit. And that's what got us through the tournament. It wasn't that we were outscoring teams. We were able to just stay in and um, bunt and steal and do some of those things. And then uh, we came through with some timely hitting. Rewinding back to 2010 and Fawson's last state trip, some of these current seniors actually shared that dugout. They were bat boys seven years ago, but on the diamond, completely different teams. This year relying on pitching and defense, but the 2010 squad strength at the plate, scoring runs, and even setting a state record in slugging percentage. I think we scored like 13 runs a game. I want to say that we broke the state slugging percentage record that year. We hit 29 home runs, and I think this year's team has three. So it's a completely different team. That, that team didn't pitch as well as this team does, and obviously this team plays a lot better defense overall than that one did. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.